All right, well, circling back now to Governor DeSantis, uh, planning to rework the Justice Department. It involves, for example, firing the FBI Director Christopher Wray, tearing down the DOJ and the FBI, and rebuilding the, those institutions from the ground up, relocating the FBI headquarters out of Washington, D.C., firing what he views as corrupt federal personnel, ending the FBI and DOJ's crackdown on quote-unquote misinformation, and holding progressive prosecutors accountable, along with, it's a laundry list, <laughs> revoking the uh, intelligence clearances of former senior intelligence officials. Joining us now, News Nation National Security contributor Tracy Walder. She is a former CIA staff operations officer, former FBI special agent as well. Knows a thing or two about this, I guess. Uh, so Tracy, as a retired member of those uh, agencies, what do you make of this plan from Ron DeSantis, should he assume the Oval Office? Well, thank you for having me, Blake. Um, you know, I really don't think that this is the best plan to completely dismantle, really, the justice apparatus here in the United States. Really, what they're arguing is returning it to its li limited capabilities pre-9-11. And we all saw, really, what happened as a result of not having interagency cooperation before 9-11. And I think that's highly problematic. And I think also the public has lost a bit of trust in the FBI. I think that that's that's correct. Yeah. That has legitimately happened. And because of that lack of trust, we then have a lack of cooperation. And that makes the vast majority of the crimes that the FBI typically works, which is violent crimes, gangs, white collar fraud, really difficult yeah. sometimes to solve. You know, Tracy, Donald Trump uh, talked about shaking up the intelligence community before he got into office as well. Chuck Schumer uh, was was talking about this all the way back in 2017. Here's what Chuck Schumer, uh, the top Democrat in the Senate, said at the time. He said, quote, let me tell you, you take on the intelligence community, they have six ways from Sunday at getting back at you. Is that indeed the case, Tracy? And if it's the case, should it be that way? Because that sounds fairly suspicious, does it not? I completely agree. That sounds absolutely suspicious. And I don't think we should be ever weaponizing the intelligence community or the Department of Justice as a way to, quote, get back at people. You know, quite frankly, when I worked at the FBI, it leaned a bit to the right. And when I was at FBI, excuse me, when I was at CIA, it leaned a bit to the middle. I never had a time when I felt that either of these institutions should be used as a way to settle really personal vendettas. And I think that that's a really irresponsible quote, quite frankly. Hey, Tracy, Lauren Wright here. Um, just a question. Could you shed some more light for us on the field officers and federal corrections officers and a lot of people in the DOJ that are not concentrated at the FBI headquarters? You know, one thing that struck me as I was listening to DeSantis's plan is that, you know, DOJ has about 117,000 employees 20,000 are corrections officers, and a lot of that actually hasn't changed since 2001. Uh, you know, the explosion of the bureaucracy, if you will, a lot of that post 9-11 was due to the creation of a brand new Department of Homeland Security. So can you just talk a little bit more about the work uh, that DOJ officials do all over the country? You know, Lauren, you're absolutely right. And ultimately, if we do decide to dismantle these organizations, that's who it's going to hurt the most. It's going to hurt their pensions. And it's going to ultimately hurt their salaries. And it's going to ultimately cost them their jobs. And these are the people who are ensuring the safety of our streets and of our communities every single day. And really, the last thing going on in their minds, and quite frankly, my mind, because I was not at FBI headquarters, really was the politics right. of anything involved. I simply had a tasking. I had an investigation to run and a subject to apprehend. All right, Tracy Walder, uh, thanks for your time. Appreciate it. Former uh, FBI, CIA, News Nation contributor, Tracy, thank you. Thanks for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find News Nation on your television provider. And don't forget to subscribe. Click the red button to get more of News Nation's fact driven, unbiased coverage.